our Matt's talking channel again. We're starting to fair the um, deck beams. So Ifka's taken on the task of fairing in the deck beams. <coughs> For some boats it's a major job, some boats are small. I've found if you're accurate enough, your shear line's accurate enough, and you're using laminated deck beams, then it's pretty good. Where Tarkine's looking quite fair overall. Um, you can see that with a batten. We run a batten down the middle and then you can look along the batten and um, see how fair she is. We've got some little spots that need a bit of moving around, but for the most part, it seems pretty good. Um, the hardest bit obviously is building up more camber in the bow, because uh, you have to do that, because it gets flatter. So we built some higher deck beams with slightly more camber up there and just sort of fairing that in slowly with a batten. Ifs working around with the belt sander now, cleaning the tops of the deck beams for a good glue joint and also just checking fairness as she goes um, and just taking a bit off along the way if it needs to be done. With the belt sander and then some with the plane or the hand plane. Um, my boss always says the plane never lies. It's kind of like choke, don't choke the hammer, but I don't know, after a while. <laughs> You say it enough times, it gets annoying. <laughs> but it's true, the plane, for me, doesn't lie. Um, you pick up little humps and bumps everywhere that you can deal with. So yeah, she's just working through that. So what you're gonna do is work in your grid. We need to move the platform back. But we can also go over the other side. Yeah. Um, and I just did this bit, but I'm not sure if, if there was a bump in one of these. Yeah, we think one of these is too high. Maybe you can have a look at the I think. So it's difficult to know where you got it, where you should press to make to make the right curve in the pattern as well. I do think this one's a touch high. This middle one's a touch high. Yeah. Just have a look at the baton and see how it looks. You can check it. Morning. Hello. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. So when she presses it down there, oh, it still comes up here. We can see it's lifting. Hang on, I'll try and focus. Yeah, so you can see that little gap there. It's almost on the line here. Yeah. A bit more on the top. Yeah, I think just come a bit closer maybe. Just watch it tear out. Yeah, that's good. Just pick the lifts up this one, but... I reckon you should take one pass of the electric plane. Scary, but what you can do is if you just set your plane and just come in and just come in flat, you won't get tear out here. And then just pull off just after where your hand is, just take the plane away. And do I still keep it on a slight angle? It should, you should have set your angle now, so it should be all right. And then, so you know your, your depth setting on the thing, just turn that um, anti-clockwise. Just give it a turn, it won't do any harm. Yep. Keep going, keep going. That's it. That's it, so that'll take bugger all off. Maybe go a couple of clicks towards me. A couple more. Yep, that's it. And now just come in, you wanna come in back here. Yeah, my blade and is halfway, so yeah. start there. Yep, and then flat out, yeah, and then keep going a bit. You'll be right. It's good, good practice. I don't like electric plants. Yeah, that's all right. Just go a bit slower. Just let it. Yeah, and let go of the button once you release, once you're off the wood. That's good. And you can start a little bit further back now. Yeah, like that. Yep. Mm. 
Uh -huh. Yeah, one more. Cool. And then set your button and have a look, I reckon. Still a touch high. Yeah, it's still a touch high. And see, put, just pop it down again. Just push it down where your hand is again. You still got a bit of a corner to take out. Yeah. Okay, I'll just work on that. Yep. Maybe just a couple of short ones, not too far. Yep. Beautiful. Yep. Nice. Check your button. Yeah, it doesn't take much. Now you can see you've got a tiny hump in the middle. So what's happened is you've, you can do this with a hand plane now, but I think what's happening, so you got, I mean, oh, yeah. you just got that little, cause you've been taking that edge off. So now I just want the hand plane in the middle yep. and then you're done. Do you want to set it less deep? Yeah, I think it's quite deep right now. Ifka struggles with left and loose and right and tight, it's not her forte. But, comes in handy on gas cylinders. Because <laughs> that's the opposite. So I go anti clockwise yeah. to make it less deep. Yeah, that way, yep. Yeah. You can also look down the plane and see it move, but if you're right, give that a go. You can just get like a piece of wood and put it on top and then you can see what you're doing now and work it down, go the whole way down the deck beam with it. Still have a bit of a bump. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit more bumpy there. That should be it. Yeah, that's all right. Just have a look at your baton now. Let's just go back to baton world. Okay. I think for now you're there, because now I'm seeing a gap evolve there. So we need to work down again. There's okay. quite a gap there. So we probably need to move this whole platform, Obi. Oh no! So we can go southbound. <laughs> get the fairing in. Cool beans.
scarves. Oh, that is. About 90, so maybe we'll just go for. It's going to be plenty strong enough. I think 80 is fine. So, what you do is you measure 80 on. So, if you measure 80 here in a couple of spots on the straight edge, draw a line, and then you draw a straight line along that. And then we just have to remember that 80 is our scarf length. Yeah. Because it's double laid ply, I think you could butt it, but this just creates the strongest. I think this is... Yeah, because our scarves are also going to be overlaid with another... Another layer of ply. How are we going to... Is it going to... We could butt join them. I mean, it's a lot easier. Is there any... Because we're also going to have timber. Angles. Yeah, yeah, it's stupidly strong. Four and a half, speaking, yeah. The only thing I suppose is that maybe if they're not butt joint. Well, rebate. Let's just rebate it. Why not? So it's double weighted plus glass and then the four and a half celery top. It's going to be bulletproof and it will just save us time. So we just have to get these rebates the right way around, which means you probably actually... This is the right way. Yeah, you just go around like this. Because then the next, so we always work forward aft. So then the next one sit on top. Yeah. Let's do that. It might save some flies a little. So that also means that on the side where you have the rebate, on the side, it's the same way you put the rebate on the top. Is that correct? Mm. No. no that's Not right. always. No. Basically, the next one back, because this faces up, yeah. the next one will go on top with another one facing up. So that will go on top, and you do the middle one with rebates all the outside, and then the next layers go on that. Like one big puzzle. I think it'll be all right. I think, I think so too, because I can see why you want a scar for deck that is single layer and then glass, yeah. but if we're a double layer glass and a layer of yeah. wooden deck, Fine. Ain't gonna move. Okay, so I just read it. This yeah, just run that end and this end. Nice, and the other thing we should always do is sand this because if this gets in the way, it'll, it'll be annoying. So just some poor Maybe sand. we make one of those um, a little board with sandpaper. They're always awesome. Yeah. Like a yeah. tiny bit of wood with some glue. Yeah, I can try and do that. Second sheet underway. You right? I'm good. <laughs> I think we have to flip it around. Um, yeah, this this is going to be up. Yeah. Okay. We'll just go up there and then we'll lay it down. Just go slow, ladies. Go slow. Go slow, eh? <laughs> Slower. <laughs> yes, nice. Oh, Samson post. <laughs> That's the bits. Probably same thing again. If, at least, just be careful on the edge of that ply. You don't get uh, sort of false sense of security.
there's a hole. Okay, okay. Oh, Ryan's got the good idea, yeah? He's going for the, the saviour grab. I shouldn't go too far out. No. It might help to just have someone here. Like yeah, that. I think so. So we, we yeah. just have to lift it up all the way. Oh, but I can't. That's all right. You let it down if I reckon. Just let Pav sort of take. <laughs> I can bring that back in, that edge. Oh, I can Go see Pav, Pav's muscles flexing. <laughs> I like your style. That is awesome. -y. <laughs> if you don't know where the boat ends and where it starts. Thanks, guys. You are amazing. <sighs> Coaster crew for the win. Wow. Yeah, I like the shear with the square edges like that. It's quite nice. We should just keep that. More volume. And a square butt. So here we have the flat packed forward section of the deck laid out and ready for grooving because we're probably going to do that. Trenching, whatever you'd like to call it. Matched up, all our deck beams are marked on there. Hatches, Samson posts. Now we'll try and find middle line to make it all match up. Maybe we can think about a different colour to make it different than the than the deck beams because you don't want one big white blob. Basically you're talking about varnishing the plywood. No. <laughs> We'd be in a lot of trouble for you with that. Yeah, we would be in a lot of trouble. It just looks kind of nice. I think that it's a slightly, that it's a different colour. I'm thinking of, and I don't know. I think just slap a bit of paint on a piece of plywood we've got, a scrap, and then just make a colour up and see what it looks like. We'll just stick it on and see if it looks good. I reckon here's a perfect spot to see it. Yeah. Well, it, the other thing is, is that we shouldn't forget that it looks really white now. But it looks a lot less white if all of our trim is on. Like there's big wooden trim here. Yeah, we got trim wood. around here. There's wood everywhere. There's a, a bed head, bed board, whatever you call it here. That's timber. So it's definitely less white than it looks now. And there will be lining boards there too that are tattered. But maybe I'll just drop a drop of blue in some white. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Strike all the irons hot. Go girl, you're leading this charge. <sighs> she was sweeping and then she got distracted at colour schemes. <laughs> That's what you do. It's a mess up here, but you know. It's a bit scary because it's quite a drop down. It's a long way down. 